control control and how to let go of it and why would we want to let go of control when we feel so good sometimes when we are being in control when we're in control yes when everything's going as planned yeah i know but mm. sometimes if you let go there'll be benefits there'll be a lot of benefits in letting go <laughs> definitely so that's, letting go that's what we're gonna be chatting about and talking about in this week's episode of get real, real with the english, english sisters. sisters come and say hi on youtube too because we've got the video version there too and on yeah Instagram. and you can actually see us yeah, you can in see our us. matching outfits yeah. <laughs> we've got matching outfits on yes uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I I think it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because most of us do feel better when we're in control. Yes, yes, when yes, we, we do. Feel as we can, con but really, you know, what is control? How can we really control? We can't control you anything. See, no, and life is so unpredictable. There are so many things that are just out of our control that sometimes we just want to have you know the things that we think we can control. We want to control. Yeah, and, and I mean, what can we control? Maybe we should start with that. What can we control? What can we truly control? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the only true, the only thing that we can truly control is our own person, ourselves. Our minds. Our mi well, yeah, if we have the <laughs> capability of controlling our mind, then that's already a massive, huge step, isn't it? Most of us aren't completely there yet no. and uh, you know <laughs> and being able to control our mind in the sense that we can manage it manage it yeah not control it but manage our thoughts and yeah. our feelings that's a big deal already well that that would be amazing if we could do that at least of that aspect of your life because the rest of it whether you have children whether you have partners you can't really control what they do or what, you know, you can up to a certain extent, like with, with children, you can say, okay, I, I've got this control bedtime. over you, bedtime or TV, <laughs> screen time, etc. But there's so much of it that you can't control. So and you shouldn't have to, no, you shouldn't have to. to. You know, it's just, it, it becomes too much, I think. Yeah, and I think the more you let go and realise that you're, you you know, you're not in control of those things and you don't have to be, and you don't have to be, the more free you, you, you are and the more free your mind is to be, like, creative and just to be That's happier right. and, and, and live, a, like, a more simple life. Because when you are feeling that you have to control all these things, in the end, it just it just bogs you down. It totally bogs you down in your mind. It mm. just becomes overwhelmed with all the things that you feel that you have to control. That you, and you feel you have to worry about. You know, about. sometimes it's even like feeling that you have to make your partner happy, Yeah. for example, because you know they're not in a good place right now. Yeah, they might be feeling a bit They down. might be unemployed yeah. or feeling depressed, not happy where they are in their job or etc. Yeah. etc. Et and so it becomes like you think, okay, I want to, I want to make them happy. <laughs> and you feel as if you have to, you feel that, okay, I'll take them here and I'll do this for them and I'll do that for them. What you're really doing is you're trying to control how they're feeling, which is something that is is out of your control. Mm -hmm. So the more you realize it's not really in your control. Yeah, it's not your responsibility. It's your responsibility to be kind, generous, to empathetic, to listen and to be a lovely partner in every possible way. But it's not your responsibility to be able to control how their mind is completely feeling, is no. it? Uh, and, and that can happen to people that are very empathic. Yeah. That can yeah. happen. You know, sometimes it's more women that take on these things, but yeah. sometimes it's just sensitive people that yeah. tend to want to control everything. Yeah, and I don't even think they see it as that they want to control it. They, just, they don't realise you know, it is control, really, no. They no. don't realise it's that. They just think it's like... Being helpful. Yeah, being helpful. <laughs> yes, they consider it. I'm just helping them. Yeah. I'm just... But what you are actually trying to do is, you know, is, is, is controlling. Mm. And, and perhaps it's not helpful. 
Yeah, sometimes it might not be helpful. It might be the opposite of helpful because that, that person just needs their space. And by by trying to like put them in a good mood or take them in the end, you might even be making them feel worse. Exactly. Yeah. You don't really know. No. Yes. It is a tricky one. But, you know, we, we do know that in general, trying to be in control of everything just doesn't work out in life. No. it's not a good thing to try and do you will become overwhelmed so if you're at this point in your life when you say okay ah just, you know you you feel like you're trying to control everything and things are slipping away from you because you know that the partner's not happy the kids aren't doing their homework on time <laughs> they're not getting the grades that you would like them to get you know whatever you you're you didn't pass the test and it went wrong and you didn't get whatever you were supposed to get you know mm. these are just these are these are things that you've got to think about and say okay this is how things are going now in my life and perhaps there's maybe there's even a reason for that you know perhaps it's a sign for you to say, okay, let me just let go of these things that I can't control. Yeah, I think in life we're all on a journey here and that there's always like these constant obstacles and things that come our way. And the, I think the more we let go of them and just say, okay, whatever will be, will be. Obviously take action when you need to, but just have this more like philosophical, just more laid back attitude to it the easier life becomes and the more we, we find that we have the resilience to, to keep going and move forward. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's like it's because it's gonna it's like the opposite of what we think it Exactly. Be. You think, no, the more I'm in control, yeah. the more I can control everything. I can control my health. You can up to a certain extent, mm. but then there are things that happen to you. Yeah. You your loved ones, they get, you know, these illnesses that you yeah. would say, No, I would never want them to get, but they get them anyway. And you feel as if, oh, I can control that. but you yeah, Or keep... your partner leaves you or you yes. leave them. I mean, this and is... you've done everything yeah. you can to make this relationship work, but it just doesn't. Yeah. You can't control it. You have to let it go when the time is right. When you've got that gut feeling, you know, yeah, you've got to yeah. listen it's to wisdom, that. It's wisdom, isn't it? It's, it's an inner wisdom. That's it. It's the inner wisdom that will come up and say, and you know. And sometimes we're trying to control everything else. And what we're doing is we're suppressing this inner wisdom that really tells us exactly what we should be doing. Instead. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 right. You know, yeah. you've got to stop and just allow those words to come into your mm. mind. Listen to what you know you have to do. Yeah. You know, and that can be difficult if you're always somebody that wants to be in control. Yeah. Yeah. I found that when I was more stressed, I really needed to control everything, like control exactly what the house looked like, make sure everything was tidy, there's no kiddie toys around. I remember My that. My mum and dad yeah. were sick. And, yeah. And the more I tried to control everything, the more stressed I would get, the more I would find I was shouting and and, and, and maybe shouting at my kids, which afterwards made me upset. Set. Yeah. And the more, when I just listened to just take a deep breath and I learnt these tools and I just take a deep breath and smile and just think, okay, there's chaos around me, who cares? You know, nothing is going to be there tomorrow as well. Like what our mum used to say, the dust yeah. will always be there tomorrow. It's not going to just disappear. And, uh, you know, in the end, that's all that really matters is that, you know, you love the people around you and that you, you try and make the most of every moment that you've got. And I think that's, uh, that's the inner wisdom that comes. Also that is age. That, yes yes <laughs> yeah with age <laughs> you realize that you me. can't you you can't control life anyway because it throws these curveballs at you and things happen yeah, and to think, that you would never expect yeah, and, and i think that also all the all the stuff that we get thrown at us all the time on like social media and the internet and everything it's always telling us like to try and control, control the way we want to look. Oh my control goodness! Control, control the aging. Control yeah, controlling everything. For goodness' sake! My so. goodness me! Yeah, let's let's do the opposite. <laughs> let's just let go of it all. Let go of uh, caring so much about 
how we look all the time and the wrinkles and yeah, the house of thinking, and the... Like, how do you look? You just think, how, have I had a good time? Have I smiled how when do I, I went out? How yes. do I feel today? Do I how feel long good? is it that I've actually had a laugh? Yeah. A laugh, a yeah. real laugh, where you know one yeah, of those a barely, a, 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 yes, <laughs> a real laugh. How long has it been? Those are the important things, you know. Those are really, really important, and we tend to forget them. And we tend to not control those things. I want to control how much laughter I have today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, we're not. Let's turn it around and, you know, go and control those things. Yes, they would be good to control. They would be the important things to control. How much have I smiled today? How much, you know, by the end of the day when I actually close my eyes and go to sleep, can I remember one nice thing that happened to me today? Can I remember one good feeling or am I overwhelmed by feelings of, oh, I didn't do that and I forgot to do this and this didn't go in as planned. Oh my goodness me, yes. Mm. We've, We've got to learn to let go of these things because life will, will take us by surprise anyway. It will. It will, it's inevitable. It starts like that. Some of us realize it sooner than later because mm. we have unexpected things that happen to us, you know, yeah. and, and you realize it, uh, that it's not going to go as planned. It's not going <laughs> to be as you decide it to be. I remember when I was like 25, I already wanted to have a kid. Yeah. And then, no way, that didn't happen. No way. I went on a massive fertility journey. You know, and I had to wait. I had to wait for five years, go through trying to adopt, etc. cetera, fivet, and a uh, whole, a whole series of things happened. And I realized, wow, this is what life is. Yeah, and I can't control it. I can't anymore. control it. Uh, my goodness. You know, I tried to. I tried to control it. I thought, oh, okay, no, now you go to a doctor and then this will happen. Nope, it doesn't happen. It's not going to happen that way. There are lessons to be learned and and so on. All throughout, you know, my lifetime, I've learned that. Yeah. I've learned yeah. that I have to let go. I, I have, have to, to let go because otherwise you're just waiting for the next thing and the next appointment and the next, you have to let go of it. Yeah. And you have to learn to live in between moments. Yeah. It's a skill, but you can learn to do it. You definitely You can learn can to learn. try and control you how much you laugh, learn. how much you love, and how many cuddles you give. Yeah. Those uh, are the things that are those important are really, to control. Yes, so important. Let's say the people that kiss their husbands or partners goodbye in the morning live a lot longer. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. So there it that that's important. That's important. That's important how much you control. touch hands, how much you hold hands, I mean, you know, and not touch hands, I <laughs> generally go. But yes, these are important things to control. <laughs> yeah. How much, you know, you notice things around you that are not just bad, yeah. you know. How much, do you notice how green the leaves are today or yeah. the, the, that or rain? how warm the sunshine is on your skin, how or the it rain feels, drops, how they look. These, These are mindful things, moments. mindful moments, yes. And, and, you know, throughout our lifetime, we've learned that these are the important things to look out for. These are the things that you can control in a day. You can mm. think, okay, today I will notice this. I will notice how soft the carpet feels against my feet mm. or how fresh that the scent of, you know, cut grass smells, how, mm. what that smell is. You know, you can notice those things. You can control small things like that. They yeah. can make you those happy. Are things that you control. Yes, exactly. And be good at. You can be you can very good at them. Nice slow breathing, so that your body, you know, has loads of lovely fresh oxygen. <sighs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Control, control those things, and let go of others. Yeah, let go of the others. Old, old feelings, old resentment, habits. old habits. Yeah, resentments, regrets. 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 Start from today. Let go of them. Let yeah. go of old anger that you build up. 
let go of blaming your parents for anger, everything. I think it's a good one because yeah. you can have that for years and years, and it doesn't serve you. And let go. You. Let go of feeling guilty because mm. perhaps you didn't parent the way you wanted to, or yeah. whatever it was, or or blaming your parents for your stuff yeah. that's happening to you now. <laughs> Just let go. Let go of it all, and you definitely live. A, you'll have a better day. I think you're certainly have a better day if you let go of the outcome and you just do 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 and do your best you're gonna have a good day you really are you really are yes absolutely (laughs) let us know what you think of letting go if you feel as if you have to control everything maybe because you're particularly feeling stressed or anxious yeah. I think, you know, it does come with the territory. And, it does indeed. You know, try and try and maybe just take a few of these suggestions on board and see how controlling how much you laugh today or how much, you know, how many smiles you give. And you, you'll probably end up feeling a lot better. You will. We yes, do. we certainly do. Lots of love and smiles, smiles from, from the English, English sisters. sisters. Please do give us a comment and follow us and uh, please rate, give us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts because it helps our podcast grow and we're, we are growing. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And following love and smiles again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.